The landscape of healthcare is rapidly changing. Emerging clinicians must integrate into more complex organizations. They must work in interprofessional teams and embrace much more elaborate technologies. They must access knowledge that exceed any one individual's abilities. Health professions educators must redefine ways and approaches to educate future healthcare leaders to accommodate for these rapid changes. Here at the UNC Adams School of Dentistry, we have embarked in a bold journey to transform dentistry for better health, a vision to become a global model of oral health education in care and discovery. To that end, we are embracing a new curriculum called ACT, the Advocate, Clinician, and Thinker. We aim to develop graduates who are tenacious advocates for oral health, excel in clinical practice, and help define future models of care. Incorporating advocacy to me makes me more aware and circumspect of what my profession really means and what I can do for others. Incorporating as a baseline part of the curriculum, it not only increases the awareness that students have of the needs of their community, but it also lifts everyone up in their capacity to serve others, as well as being more aware of what forward thinkers need to be thinking about in terms of current issues that have implications in the future. The ACT curriculum will develop graduates that promote wellness and better health. A graduate that is adaptable to a changing healthcare environment, who is competent, collaborating, and working in teams, all while leading to advanced oral health. Early clinical experience will help contextualize what we learn and set the foundation for clinical practice. What being a thinker really means is doing more than just memorizing facts and figures. It's everything we learn should fit into a larger framework of knowledge, and then we should use that framework to really be thinking critically and be ready to adapt to new information as it comes to us. I think to be effective and responsible clinicians, we need to be practicing evidence-based dentistry. And to do that, we need to be able to analyze data critically and look at findings and be ready to adapt as new guidelines come out. To prepare our students for a future that we can only imagine, we must begin to define new boundaries, have a sense of comfort and ambiguity, and continue to advance our educational practices. To achieve all this, we must continue to act.